Hey yo, this is Sam Ant and Oh God. Make sure you go check out our podcast, the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast on radio.com you've seen us on youtube over 800,000 subscribers strong now if you want to listen to your brothers raw real uncut and most importantly in full go check us out on radio.com we bring you the latest news on all things hip-hop sports relationships politics you name it we cover it the most dangerous podcast out to date the hip-hop uncensored podcast check us out four days a week on the radio.com app let's go people know how to get in touch with us when they want to get in touch with us so that being that, you know, we're going to move on, Sam, man, to the next topic. But before we do, I want to do a station identification break. Let You're tuned into the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast, the most underrated hip hop podcast out there. Right now, your number one exclusive source for all things hip hop with your brother Sam man over there and your brother oh god if you're enjoying the content today we need you to do just just two favors go ahead and hit that five star rating and do not forget to subscribe to the podcast to get all future upload sam and i think we're going to talk about let's do the dave Chappelle. okay we'll talk about dave Chappelle because you were um introducing me and saying that i need to check out his netflix special yeah man so i looked at it last night when it premiered and then i checked it out earlier today because i just wanted to watch it twice and i wanted to grab some content from it just to talk about today funny as hell man especially if you get into that kind of humor he was letting it just all go a lot of the shit that we talk about those gray areas he went and just fucking kicked down the door and it was hilarious. Well, one of the ish, uh, the topics that he talked about was Kevin Hart and the Oscars and him getting in trouble. And he had a real great way of just spinning everything and telling great stories through all of his comedy. And he got on Kev a little bit. Now, they're friends. Let me start yeah. off by saying that. Close. But just the digs were funny. And I know that it would get some good commentary from us, too. So I didn't edit this up the way I wanted to. We're going to hear this in entirety. Hopefully, you can hear it all or see it all if you're watching on YouTube. But here we go. That's what he told me. I remember when he told me because I was thinking to myself, well, this is an awfully strange dream for an African American. <laughs> kind of nigga dreams of hosting the Oscars. Kevin did that too. And he did it. Against all the odds, Kevin became the most famous comedian this world has ever seen, and he got the job that only one black man before him had. He was going to host the 80th Oscars. And I don't know what you know about Kevin, but I know Kevin Hart is damn near perfect. As close to perfect as anybody I've ever seen. In fact, Kevin is precisely four tweets shy of being perfect. <laughs> Ten years ago, Kevin had made some very homophobic comments. And I'm not going to repeat what he said, because this is Atlanta. You know what I mean. I'm sure there's a lot of gay men here tonight with their wives. Just remember, these were not my words. These were Kevin's words. It was a long time ago. And I'm paraphrasing because I'm not good at telling other people's jokes. Okay, Kevin said <laughs> that if his little son was demonstrating or, or, or exhibiting uh, homosexual behavior around the house, that he'd chastise him. He'd say, hey, that's gay. And then he said he would smash a dollhouse over that child's head. Ooh, the gay community was serious. And I don't blame them. They got a lot of gay friends. And all of them, 100% of them, all have told me fucking horror stories about the shit they had to go through just to be themselves. Crazy, crazy stories. And in all those stories, I gotta say, not one of them has ever mentioned anything like their father smashing a fucking dollhouse over their head. Because clearly Kevin was joking. Think about it. You would have to buy this nigga a dollhouse to break it over his head in the first place. Does that sound right? Is anybody going to do that? 
the gay community was upset and then they put so much pressure on the academy of motion pictures and sciences that they went to kevin and said if you don't apologize to that community then you cannot host these Oscars." and then kevin said fuck it i quit And then he went on every talk show in America and apologized for six weeks. All right, man, just a snippet of, of, of what the fuck Dave Chappelle got going on over there. Stick with stones. Shit's hilarious. Go check it out on Netflix now, man. Oh, God, like I said, it's a fun topic. Obviously, they cool. But what you think about what he said about Kev, man? I mean, he just told the truth. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, and that's the, the, the great thing about comedy is that you can tell, you know, the blatant truth about somebody and it just as opposed to him just coming out and saying it in a Twitter rant and, and he made a hater mm-hmm. or somebody, you know, to say he's on drugs or he's going off the rocker. He could put it in a way where people could just laugh it off. But it's 100 percent true. Mm-hmm. And as a, he what he left out about Kevin Hart is that Kevin Hart said, look, I already apologized for it already. So, he, on, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, he left that part out a little bit, but, he, you know, he did go on. You know, you know, I was that they, they, you know, the proverbial whip, as you like to say, was, um, you know, um, lashed down on Kev and he had to apologize. Yeah, man. And Again. yeah. And they're, they're very close. You've heard that in any interview that you listen to, whether that be Kev or um, uh, Dave Chappelle talking. They're real close and it was cool. But that's that that comedy stage, that raw and uncut stage where you can mm-hmm. just say what you got to say. And hey, man, sometimes you just got to laugh shit off. And Kev had to take those snacks because first off, I ain't know another motherfucker that another nigga that wanted to do uh, Oscars outside of Kev for it to be <laughs> their dream either. So for him to put that out there was funny as hell. And then just to go in on the gay community, uh, a real sensitive topic yeah. for him just saying fuck it and going on. You got to watch it, man. It's funny as hell. If you're a real motherfucker and, and not so overly sensitive, you'll enjoy this. But if you are, don't click it because you'll get offended. I'm telling you like right that. now. If, you, if you're easily Ooh. offended, if you're one of those people that take little rib jabs and then want to start tweeting and complaining, don't click it. Cause wow. he's coming at your throat and it's wow. hilarious. Wow. And is, is it him on stage or yeah. What? And it's oh, needed, man. It's needed. Oh. And, and I got to give Kev as, as much as I root for Kev. We said it on here numerous times. I've watched him. He was Kev the bastard. He's out of Philadelphia. Right. Right. For him to be where he's at right now, man. I salute him. I applaud him. I'm happy for him. But his last show was watered down. Ooh. It was watered down because he was trying to please other people so that opportunities would no longer leave him like the Oscars did. Dave Chappelle Damn. said, fuck your opportunities. That's right. Fuck this. I'm getting back to comedy. Mm-hmm. And that's why I loved it, man. So I'm going to watch it again. Even if you, because, you know, after a couple of times you watch a comedy show, the shit ain't funny no more. But you mm-hmm. can watch it and just enjoy it. He gives it, tells a great story, man. It's a, it's a And that's the great, you know, a lot of, of people talk about America, even though you could be chastised and you could lose endorsement for saying what you say. For the most part, man, you can, you know, express yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and this is what makes the greatest, you know, um, orators, I think. Is people who are able to express themselves freely. Kevin Hart, you know, obviously is one of the best. But when you start not, you know, um, tip through the tulips and not want to offend this and that, and you're a comedian, so you could do it, mm-hmm. and you stop doing that, and you it comes out. And people who are fans of Kevin Hart, you know, because I'm not like a fan from early on, but right. you are. Yeah, you see the difference. Like, yo, Kev, you're watering shit down you doing, man? to appease a mainstream audience because you don't want to. You know, um, lose like you saying, man said. You know, opportunities that's going to come in the future. Mm-hmm. You don't want to you lose that, so you're going to continue to do this. And at the same time, you're losing genuine fans because they go on to you know Dave Chappelle because they said Dave Chappelle gonna say fuck it and throw the house at you. And that's why it was real. I, I was inspired by watching it because we I got to keep it a hundred. You and I, we tiptoed a little bit through the pedals in our journey through this podcast, keeping it un- uncut real. We always kept it 100, kept it real, but we always took the gas off the pedal where we can know we can go 90. And we took it and said, all right, right. now we'll keep it the speed limit. We'll go 55. And we took some criticism for it. And that's not because we were afraid. No, we're trying to appease. And we were like, no, the second we said, fuck it. If it does what it does, it does what it does, whatever, we're going to get real. Yeah. That's when the different opportunities and the success really started yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. So it's it, it, it comes to a point where, and, and Kevin's on a, a far grander stage than we were when we had to come to this realization. But it's like maybe if he came to the realization, knew it, and then they whipped him so hard that he couldn't get back, and now he's just cool where he's at. He's cool where he's at. But I think Kevin can be 
back on the stage is one of the funniest when you see yeah, Eddie Murphy's coming back. Dave Chappelle mm -hmm. rocking out. Yeah, yeah. You could be sitting along those greatest of all times if you just say fucking let it loose. Let it go. You got let it in. Go. So we definitely rooting for you. You know, Kevin Hart over here on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Um, the next.